Hello everybody and welcome to this week's tip of the week and you can see from my screen we are going to discuss about the whole new report that um, we have developed regarding uh, the reinforcement and it's called the follow-up report. With no further ado, let me first of all explain to you what it is and second where you can find the report and as the third is like how you can download it from our wiki import it and then uh, adjust the settings and make it your own that it is made for your own company so first of all what is the rc follow-up report it is a report that for now it doesn't take the reinforcement groups of your uh, project of your um, uh, of the wall as like a full entity but it is splits them up into different components so here you will see also the stirrups and the straight bars so every reinforcement you have from the meshes all the way to the reinforcement groups and everything uh, bending uh, bending meshes and so, and so on every component will be slipped out into the different components of your project of your uh, of your reinforcement so if we say that uh, this is of course as you understand very very useful to be able to get all this information uh, if you are the ones making your own uh, reinforcement groups right so you can print out this report in many places you can select your elements on the model view and the same of course on the element id tab so you can select your elements here or here in my case, I will select them here on the model view. You can right click, find the function called uh, print, and then see is the last one of the reinforcement. The reinforcement specification follow up. Let us print it out. You will see when we print that out, we will be able to select do you want to get, of course, order them by dimension ascending, bar mark, the type dimension descending and so on and so forth and then we will decide do we want to include the straight bars do we want to include the stirrups the mesh the bended mesh the groups and of course the bar mesh i will include everything now it will not look anything like pretty this is not um, i'm not producing real reinforcement drones but um, it worth looking at so here this is a template that we have it is not perfectly everything is not uh, how do you call it uh, adjusted perfectly to look uh, fantastic but what you can see here is a lot of information that we have gotten here for example I can see immediately that this is part of the reinforcement group and this is just the end save code the end save code and the straight bars in it and you can see how uh, what is the cut length and the different diameters we are using for those elements and everything that you need to get for those three separate three elements you can also see the mesh steer up steer up mesh and the straight bars information how many of those we have you know you see here 135 of these so it is very quickly into an excel an excel sheet that you can uh, take out this information of course it is very important to say that you can also right click on your tables and print this report directly from your tables the reinforcement specification follow-up and if you want to filter different multiple projects in uh, multiple cases that for the whole production for next week then you can also print this report from the planning grid in the resource manager this is also imp important to know so if you do not have this report and you would like to to get this report so there is only one simple thing you have to do i will show you directly i will take my internet most of you know the impact wiki this is our normal um, wiki page and always change notes you will find in the report tool here in the applications and if you go back down to this version 002 a new report type called reinforcement follow-up is introduced and you will see all of the information you need in order to set up this report first of all and of course where you can also print the report from the project manager the research manager and uh, and of course the cast planner 
and you can download the report template here. If you download the report template, the only thing you have to do is open your report tool. Of course, I have already done that. And make sure that you import this zipped file into the settings. From that point on, you can go in and adjust the settings of your report. You go here, company, and then right click, import, and you just select the file called the follow up. Yes, you just do that, say open, and then the report will be imported. Simple as that, and you can use it for all of your projects. It is as simple as that. Very nice, very nice report. This is just for awareness, a case that we developed, and it is going to be very relevant maybe for a lot of you. So that's it from me. Wishing you a great day, and I'll see you all in the next tip of the week. Bye bye.